they talk to the BBC. Live from London, this is BBC News. Buildings flattened in Gaza as Israel strikes back against Hamas. A ground offensive is now widely expected. This is the scene live in Gaza City, where people have been told to seek safety. All the places Hamas hide, we will turn them into ruins. I'm telling the residents of Gaza, leave now, because we will act with all our power. Rescue operations continue for the dozens of people taken hostage. So far, nearly 50 people have been freed. President Joe Biden offers rock-solid support for Israel. The UN Security Council will soon discuss the crisis at an emergency meeting. Hello, I'm Regini Vaidyanathan. We begin in the Middle East, where just over 24 hours after Palestinian militants launched an unprecedented surprise attack on Israel, fierce clashes continue. Here are the key developments in the conflict as they stand. People living in Gaza have been warned to flee their homes as the Israeli army prepares to step up its retaliation. Israeli airstrikes on the territory have continued overnight. More than 250 Israelis have died with the toll on the Palestinian side, put at 313. Israel says it's still trying to regain full control of eight areas where Hamas militants infiltrated following Saturday's attack. The number of Israeli civilians and soldiers taken hostage has been put at 100 by the Israeli embassy to the US, although some have been freed. In northern Israel, Hezbollah rockets targeted three military positions, with Israel responding with barrages of artillery into southern Lebanon. Meanwhile, the UN Security Council will meet later on Sunday. President Joe Biden has vowed rock-solid support for Israel and warned other countries against taking advantage of the situation. Well, let's bring you the scene live in Gaza now. As we were saying, Israeli airstrikes are ongoing in response to Hamas's attack, including some in the last few hours. Now, Palestinian health officials say 20 children are amongst the more, th more than 300 people who've been killed there. Now, they say that 1,800 have been wounded. Well, let's get the latest now on all of that from our correspondent, Simon Jones. Israel is stepping up its retaliation. This is what it describes as its mighty vengeance.